Hey, what's up guys? John from KetoBars.com. Thanks for checking out my channel, first time founder. So today I just wanted to mostly talk about, just give a general update like I like to do every once in a while. Uh, the, the main thing that we've been working on, and I've kind of alluded to this in past videos, is that um, you know, as we've grown from a small startup, I mean, we're still in startup mode, but you know, as I started in my kitchen here, 10 feet away, um, I've slowly um, gotten more equipment, more things to help things get streamlined. Originally, uh, I used these like silicon molds to hand make the bars. Um, so I would make seven at a time on these on these molds. And uh, as things have moved forward and progressed, we've gotten different pieces of equipment that have really helped streamline our productivity. Um, of course, we moved into a uh, really nice facility, um, you know, gosh, late 2016, early 2017. Um, and that has given us all the space that we've needed and of course given us like way more room. So that's been really, really good. And since we've grown a lot since then, I mean, as you all know, keto has gone ballistic over the past year. So we've had a ton of growth and we've been able to keep up with all the stuff we had, uh, but we've been considering moving uh, some of our production to a contract manufacturer. And for those of you that don't know what contract manufacturing is, you, maybe if you watch Shark Tank, you've seen something like this. It's really common when it comes to food products. And generally what it is, is um, there's companies that literally their, their sole purpose is to make other people's products for them. So if you go to the grocery store and like look at all the products that are in there, you know, a lot of those are probably made in the same facility, especially if they're like the same type of foods. Um, contract manufacturers definitely like generally have a, a specialty. So like a canned goods, right? Like a contract manufacturer will be really good at making canned goods. It's all they make, they don't make anything else. Maybe a bakery, muffins, like something specific, bars, you know, protein bars. So a lot of these places are made in the same places. And if you even just do a Google search of contract manufacturer for X type of product, you might find the top five or 10 in the country that, that do those types of things. Now, generally you don't work with them from day one. Um, because they'll have minimum order quantities. Um, so if you're a bigger company or you raised money, you might start with a contract manufacturer because you can show up day one and put in a 50 or 100 or $200,000 order right off the bat. You're saying, hey, we got the money, we're gonna go out and sell this stuff. You know, a small company, you're starting in your kitchen, obviously you can't go, that, go to them and say that. So you have to build your sales up to a point of where like you can put in those bigger orders. So. We started that journey, man, it's been like probably six, seven, eight months now. It's been a long time. We've been um, talking to different companies, doing different things, doing some tests, and uh, it takes forever. I mean, it's brutal. I mean, you have to keep in mind that they are running their business. So when they need to do a test, you know, they shut down that line, whatever line you're going to use for the day, and they have to run your stuff to test it out. So tests are expensive. It's a waste of time. If it doesn't work, it's such a waste of time and money. Um, so we basically have been searching and in conversations and negotiations for a pretty long time now. And, um, the truth is we've done two tests and, uh, man, they've gone so poorly. The one they sent us a video and I mean, it, I, it was, my mind was blown at how poorly it was doing of just making our bars. I mean, it, it, visually they looked pathetic. Um, and it's just because like they had never done a bar like ours before. The, the main thing that helps us is that our bar is so different than everybody else's that it's, it would be hard to just go and rip ours off. I mean, could somebody do it? Sure. Um, but I mean, we, we know how to make it, but like these companies that are used to making things like, like quest bars, right? They're using a fiber syrup. Uh, a lot of bars use, use like dates, like RX bar as like a main binder. So once they figure out that, figure how to make those at, make those bars once they know how to do them for everybody. So ours are different and companies struggled. So we've just been moving too slowly on that aspect and just been having inventory problems. Like been stunting our growth a little bit, just not being able to accept certain things uh, or go retail in some places that have hit us up uh, because we just don't have production volume. So uh, I'm, I'm excited and nervous, but we decided to reinvest uh, a substantial amount of money into our own facility uh, and get some new equipment. So it's been an exciting process because the prospect of 
um, our, our production capacity, like, you know, more, I mean, gosh, it might triple overnight. And with a couple more pieces that'll work with this, like we're talking a lot of growth. Um, so to be able to get that and potentially just really up our in-house growth is amazing. We, we're still considering, and we're still in talks with contract manufacturers about maybe pushing some stuff over and not others. Um, because ultimately like our facility, we like, we love using it for like R and D and we have so many ideas for like more bar flavors and different products and just different things. And like, you know, we just, right now we're so focused on production that we don't get to spend as much time on those things. So, um, yeah, I just want to tell you guys that we, we just did a big reinvestment. You actually, you're going to see a change in our packaging really soon. Uh, both the boxes that we're in and, uh, of course, you know, that we're in those vacuum seal bags, uh, which we know they're a pain to open. I'm sorry. We're working on it. Uh, I'm actually surprised more people don't complain because even I find them to be a pain to open. Um, but yeah, you're going to see some, some really cool changes. Um, some of them maybe as soon as like a month from now or two months, uh, you know, some of them throughout the rest of the year, but the most exciting part of having this re the really cool pieces of equipment in our own facility is that um, along with our capacity growth, like our production volume growth, we're going to be able to mess around with some other ideas that we had. And, and one of them, small batch, small batch flavors or seasonal flavors and stuff like that. And uh, we have some cool ideas. We already have cool prototypes like sitting around. So like this stuff's kind of ready to go, like 80% of the way there. So once we fix our problems, um, I think you're gonna see some cool stuff coming out like in the next couple months, like for this year for sure. Uh, we have we have a cool partnership up our sleeve uh, coming out in a couple months that we're really excited about. You'll hear about that uh, from more than, more than just me on this channel. Um, but really cool stuff coming up. Um, just wanted to give you a quick update. Do you guys, what do you think? Do you, do you care? Do you, what do you think of our current packaging? Uh, you've, if you've been around long enough, you've seen it go, go from like, uh, back in the day we were in these black bags. They weren't see-through and they had like a pull tab to, to open them. Uh, then we switched to these vacuum seal bags. Uh, any of you guys remember that? Any of you guys been around here long enough for, for that? That started in 2014. Um, let me know. Also any flavors, like any ideas that you guys have, like leave them in the comments. Uh, we love that type of feedback. We get it quite a bit. So there's a couple flavors we know people really want. There's some that we like can't do. Uh, I just can't think of a realistic way to keep the carbs and fat levels where they should be, uh, for a couple flavors. Um, but yeah, we'd love to hear your feedback input. Uh, let us know. Um, and, uh, we'll always take it into consideration. So yeah, thanks for checking out this video. Uh, as always, if you enjoy this, subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.